एवरीवन आई एम रुचि फ्रॉम विद्या बाल भवन स्कूल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट समथिंग दैट वी डू ऑल डे एवरी डे एंड एवरीवन नीड्स टू डू दैट टू कीप द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज और व्हाट एवर वी आर डूइंग एंड दैट इज टाइम वी डू थिंग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द time like whenever you have to come to school you all come according to the time and to see the time what do we need yes to see uh, see the time we need this and this is a clock to keep the record of the time we need a clock we see time in this clock so now as you can see this is a clock and how many numbers are there yes there are 12 numbers in the clock and in the middle can you see these two these two are known as hands what do we call them we call them hands as you can see the longer one this longer one is known as minute hand and the shorter one is called hour hand why these are called minute hand and hour hand because the long hand tell us about the minutes and the short hand tell us about the hours so the clock has two hands and sometimes a watch or clock has third hand also and that is known as second hand that tell us about the seconds what does that tell us about that tell us about seconds now again have a look can you see this watch in this clock there are 12 numbers and between each two numbers there is a gap of 5 minutes how many minutes there is a gap of 5 minutes so if a, a hand will move from 12 to 1 so that means it has covered how many minutes it has covered 5 minutes so in total how many minutes are there in the clock tell me as there are 12 numbers and each has 5 minute gap so there are 60 minutes how many minutes there are 60 minutes and these 60 minutes make 1 hour what does they make they make 1 hour 60 minutes are equal to 1 60 minutes make 1 hour i have another watch for you all with some details as you can see in this watch there are three hands the longer one minute hand the shorter one hour hand and this thin hand is the second hand and see between two numbers there are five dots that are representing minutes five dots for each minute now we will learn how to read time so as you can see i am drawing a watch over here how many numbers are there in the watch yes there are 12 numbers how many numbers 12 numbers in a watch and we will learn the use of two hands here because second hand moves continuously so we will see the use of two hands one hand is the longer one and the other one is the short one means hour hand and the minute hand so whenever 
the longer hand is on a number that means it is showing us the minutes and whenever it is on the uh, when the shorter hand is on the number that means it is showing us the hour so as you can see in this clock the shorter hand is on number 4 and the long hand is on number 12 so that means how much time is there it is 4 or clock because shorter hand represents represents the hour now let us see another example but first tell me what is this this is 4 o clock how do we write it we write it 4 o clock or in digital way we write it 4 o clock like this now let us see some another example say your minute hand is on some other number is on 2 so now how we will get to know about the time as i have told you that between each two numbers there is a gap of 5 minutes how much gap 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we can easily know how much uh, time is there when the long hand is on 2 so that means it is 10 minutes and 10 minutes uh, of which are 10 minutes of 4 so we will call it 10 past 4 what we will say it 10 minutes past 4 because 10 minutes have been passed we have uh, used those 10 minutes or the, these 10 minutes have been gone so that's why we say 10 minutes past and then the hour and the hour is 4 so 10 minutes past be our time now let us see another example it was when the minute hand was on 2 now if the minute hand is on 6 then what what do we say then how do we read the time for example if your minute hand is on 6 and your hour hand is somewhere uh, near 10 so what time is this this time is can you see that 6 and 12 are uh, opposite to each other if we will divide the clock that means the hand has passed or covered the half part of the clock so that's why whenever the minute hand is on 6 that means it has covered half of the hour so that's why we call it half past why do we call it half past because half of the hour has been passed see here it is dividing the clock in half part now so that's why it is known as half past and now see the hour hand where it is it is near 10 or we can say after 10 so that means it is half past 10 what time is this 10:30 or we call it half past 10 we can write it like this also 10:30 or in words we call it half past 10 and if the hour hand is not on 10 it is on some other number for example if we put it uh, after 4 so what time it will be as you can see the minute hand is on 6 and 4 and the hour hand is near to the 4 so it will be half past 4 because the clock has moved or it has covered half of the clock so it will be half past Four or what else we can say? Four thirty. Okay. So 
when the minute hand is on 12 then we call it o'clock we see the hour hand if it is on on 1 so it will be 1 o'clock if it is on 2 then 2 o'clock if it is on 9 then 9 o'clock and same with other numbers and if the minute hand is on 6 then what do we say what do we call it we call it half past if the hour hand is on 4 then half past 4 if it is on 10 then half past 10 and same with the other numbers there are different kinds of clocks or watch the one that we wear in our hand that is known as watch what do we call it we call it watch and now what is there are different kind of watch this this one which has numbers and the hand in it the needles in it that is known as analog one and one that is digital or that can do some other things also that is known as smart watch and the one that we put or we hang on our walls that is known as clock but do you know all of these do one thing and what is that they tell us about the time and who will tell me how many hours are there in a day do you know how many hours are in a day yes very good in a day there are 24 hours how many hours 24 hours so this clock has 12 numbers it will take two rounds how many rounds it will take two rounds to complete a day i hope you all understood what we have learned today for other information we will meet soon